Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another crash resolution video here. And in this video, we'll be going over the new SSD seed, um, which was found a day ago. And so, yeah, this is basically the seed, and I'll link the seed in the description below. And so, for this seed, the optimal spawn is around this tree here. You want, you want to be on the top half of this tree, I believe that spawn exists too. And then you want to run to this house, and then you want to get the bed, and then you want to come out. And then this blacksmith, you can try looting it from here, and you can fast loot this chest. You want to take the uh, obsidian and iron pickaxe. And so you want, you can like um. If you know Minecraft mechanics, you can do this. The reason I like click the pickaxe there is to um, get cooldown from the pickaxe, and then you want to like, um, kind of hit hitter here, and then you can also jump here and then hit hit here, and then you want to go in, grab this bit, and then you want to hit hitter over. The reason you want to hit hit over is so you can reach this land here easier than just jumping so you can hit it over and people sometimes will take this torch depends on the truck you are using Some sometimes they take this torch um, for the power room I'll show you later and then they will drop down here grab this obsidian and this flint and there's mainly two ways of building this portal the first one is by using the cobblestone like this and then later on you will be doing these two and the second way is to um, break two netherrack here and then place one one wait, um, like this and then place one here and then loot the blacksmith chest it depends which one you like the most I personally like this one better um, so I'll be using this one for this video and now I'm going to break this chest and loot these two things the obsidian and one iron ingot place the rest of the obsidian craft a fill and steel and then trade it under Okay, so basically, before you enter the nether, you can actually do one more thing. Let me show you this. Okay, so when you're in the portal animation, you can actually mine the blocks here. And you will know why in a second. So basically, you will, you will have more blocks than me. So you will want to get at least 6 blocks, which you should have. If you are mining, if you are doing the route I'm doing, you should have 6 blocks. And from here, you want to jump down this vine here. That's why it's called vine seed because you are going to jump down from vine. And then you want to come to here. If you don't have blocks, you can break 1, 2 here. And you want to come to this this block over here which is in the middle of these two kind of uh, is on the left and you want to bridge six blocks one two three four five six and then after six blocks you want to pray place three obsidian one two three and then you can some cut do some kind of pro like this and you to this and you want to build a pro like this and then um, the blind coordinates is kind of straight. You want to blind, um, yeah, like this. Um, negative one eighty, one thirty eight point eight. You want this point eight to be in the portal room, and then this one is one hundred and six point four. The first decimal place has to be like um, accurate. So after you go to this place. You should blind the portal room. And then there's two ways people go in the portal. 
So the first way is of course the traditional way. The second way is um Brio found out we can break this block, place a torch some kind here, and then jump in. And from here, if you have a block, you can place a block here. If you don't have a block, you can also parkour there, something like this. But it's just kind of risky if you have nerves. Yeah, sometimes you'll fall. And make sure to turn on your render distance to 12 as well. And then you want to jump. And if you have an extra block, you can put it here. If you don't, you can mine. And then stone, put it here. Go here. And then after you reach the main island, you want to go left. Normally people go right on other seats, but in this seat, you want to go left because this is a front dragon on um, some kind of dragon mechanics. If you want to know more, I'll also link a video down in the description. Keywag will be explaining how to do zero cycle and some of the dragon mechanics as well. And the reason this seat is actually faster is because it's a front dragon and dragon purges lower than any other seats. So if the dragon purges, you can place an obsidian here and then do your one cycle. And people also discovered that this seat is actually faster with dagger to purge. Meaning you want to come somewhere around here and the dragon will push there and then you can one cycle your dragon here. And that's pretty much it. And you can practice your portal buildings and also some of the chest loots and yeah that's all for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe it really helps me out a lot and yeah see you guys in the next video peace out